Hey everyone, Miles Pit here playing the Curse Forest. Go ahead and start it. That was like good old freaky time. Hey look a bear. Hmm, long loading time. You can only look at a bear so long before you get bored. Yep. This might be partly because it is still currently in early access. At least I hope that's the case. Oh, come on, load your bitch. Come on! Take in forever. There we go. Maybe? Okay. Oof, that's a lot of bird. Alright, am I supposed to be a little kid? Come on, get up. Wow, this game is jerky as all hell. Okay, let's get started, huh? Whoa, that was weird. Pushed down tab and it brought up the steam overlay. <laughs> she been unlocked early access. That is an awful achievement. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I should just sit down, eh? Oh. I can crouch. Wow, lots of popping, too. Okay, let's see what's down this way. Ooh, a mini stone hedge. Oh, wow. Ever since I've started researching and writing about abandoned places, there's always been one in particular that I've wanted to visit. I've heard many stories about the place, everything from cars mysteriously breaking down as they try to pass through, to travelers venturing into the forest, never to be seen again. Then there's the tales about the settlement itself. The people that lived there was building a railroad, railroad until one day they all disappeared without a trace. The incident has almost been forgotten now, discarded it as an urban legend, a ghost story to keep children from straying too far into the woods. Now I have the opportunity to finally visit the area and who knows, maybe I'll even solve the mystery of what happened here. When I first entered the settlement, I couldn't believe how many things had been left behind, whole homes of abandoned with all the family's belongings still inside. I find it hard to believe that these people would have left all their worldly possessions of their own free will. I feel as if every step I take leads me closer to discovering the truth. Still, no matter how exciting I find my discoveries, I feel uneasy in this place, as if I'm being watched. On the outskirts of the settlement's territory, I have made an incredible find. A set of altars. They look older than anything in the village, as though they were here long before the settlers were. Out of curiosity, I lit one of them. Oh god. And I, as I did, the ground began to shake, almost as if there had been a small earthquake. I'm sure it was nothing more than coincidence, but still, standing in the light of the altar, I felt relief as if I were safe from the terrible presence that had been following me. I think the altars could be an important clue as to what happened here all those years ago. I will have to do more research tomorrow. The tail, blah blah blah. Can I light it? Whoa, save point. I thought it saved a second ago. That's weird. There are lines across the screen now. <gasps> Whoa. That was the voice of a grown ass man. Thought it was maybe a kid.
Ooh, jerkiness again. What is this, a swamp now? I think I take the right route. I sort I do. Whoa, slow. Check out this house. Okay, delicacy, but not for you. There's a strange atmosphere in the settlement today. The people seem even more subdued and silent than usual, although it could have been a projection of my own foreboding. Sarah's predicament plays on my mind, so much so that out of the corner of my eye I swear I saw her sitting in my room. But when I looked, of course, she was not there. I will need to approach her father about his attitude towards her. He is a harsh leader and no different in his parenting. While the villagers seem enraptured by his vision, I am less convinced, and I find it hard to trust his word, as certainly as the others. Although the streets were quiet today, in the night they seemed to have come alive. When I left my house to inquire as to the commotion, the nose faded into nothing, as though it had never existed in the first place. Tomorrow I will have to be braver and speak to Sarah's father. Then perhaps the feeling of unease will leave me, and the inexplicable things that have been happening here will show themselves to be nothing more than a fracture of my own nervous mind. And that's how you die. Hey, someone left money here. <gasps> Wait. Dang, just... There's a lens again! God, I've got to check those out to make sure those are on the recording, because those are very annoying. What is this? Hey, a map. That a killer rabbit like from Monty Python in the Search for the Holy Grail? Let's go to the lake. Then an altar. Sweet. Calling for your frogs. You know what? Uh, it's so long as hell. Whoa! Yeah, just jump in the water. This sounds really good. I actually feel like there's mosquito buzzing in my ears. I'm gonna smack it. What is that? What was that? What's over here, huh? <gasps> I guess that was a mistake. <gasps> oh, I'm just still being pulled. Okay. Ow. Okay. No idea this will happen. I got another. Wow, they just really hand out the achievements. Oh, that's one way to get around. This wasn't lit before. Shut up. God dang. Sounds almost too good. It's become kind of annoying. I don't trust scarecrows. Seems 
Why not an altar over here? If I can get to it. Aha! Success! Alright, what's going on? What is that? My father never liked my trips into the forest. As a deterrent, he used to tell me of tales of feral wolves that roamed through the trees, hunting in packs and ripping apart any animal or human they encountered. To this day, I believe that the wolves were nothing more than stories told by an overbearing parent because I never saw, heard, or sensed their presence. I think that's because the forest has always been a beautiful and peaceful place to me, exactly the way I imagined it from my books, not the dangerous place I was told existed beyond the tree line. Every step I take deeper into the forest highlights its beauty. The sweet smelling flowers, the harmony of singing birds, the squirrels that jump skittishly from one tree to another, and even the insects that find their haven amongst the varied plants. One particular sunny day, I was walking in the forest when I heard a noise from the bushes. It was not the rustling of wind in trees, but of something lurking in the undergrowth. My mind, though normally calm amongst the trees, immediately jumped to thoughts of wolves waiting to pounce. I took a cautious step back, and as though it had suddenly seen its chance to escape, a rabbit jumped from the underbrush and bolted for its hole. The next day I returned with a carrot for the rabbit and placed it in front of its home. Within 30 minutes it reappeared, sniffing the food cautiously and allowing me to get a better look at it. Its coat was a shining silver gray, and around its right eye was a perfectly circular patch of black fur. Within two weeks it was eating out my hand. The rabbit's bravery was short-lived. Its comfort in the presence of humans made it an easy target for the settlement's hunters. Sometimes I think animals deserve more sympathy than humans. Okay, so I'm supposed to use a carrot. Those are bones. I almost get the feeling it's gonna go, eh, what's up, duck? Oh. Hi, buddy. Do you wanna be my friend? Okay. Oh, I'm collecting body parts. That's what that thing was. That's not strange at all. Okay, okay. So, is it going to turn out I'm collecting my body? Ew, that's a jerkiness. I I knew it. I fucking knew I knew it. I told you I don't trust scarecrows. map there are a lot of dead people over here so I'm slightly worried the hell is that was oh, I see what looks to be a light wait what's over here that would be a shrine. Nope. Or altar, I should say. Apparently what I saw was not a light. That's weird. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Found one. Okay. What the? Okay, so that scared me. <gasps> the gas beam was not necessary.
Oh boy. They're throwing the junk at me. Let's go here. Is here for steps. Yeah, I get tired of reading. I knew I saw something up there. to get across this. <laughs> oh crap. Oh. How convenient. Another pathway right there. All right. Oh crap. That's not a shadow person. Why is that music playing now? I love the pass back. <laughs> I hear noises. Well, it seems like a good place to end it for today. Got half the altars, three eighths of a skeleton. Woohoo! Alright, so this is the this game. If you want to try it for yourself, the Curse Force. There'll be a download link below or a Steam store page. If you enjoyed watching me play, please like, subscribe, share. All that razzmatazz. Thanks for watching.